All right. I hope this is working for a variety of reasons. Well, obviously, I don't want to just be wasting my time. I'm also um, listening to music, uploading a video to YouTube, and doing the StreamYard thing. And StreamYard does not seem to be very happy when I do lots of these things and like together. But we'll see what happens. So this is a, um, a screenshot from... Uh, the overhead webcam, and then I went into paintbrush and just added some uh, bit of lines. And I'm doing this kind of like a bit of a test in, in a, a few ways. One, uh, to talk things out, playthrough-wise, because I want to try different stuff. And secondly, um, well, uh, practice-wise, I also want to start cluing in on uh, maybe adding some bit of graphics, doing some like, you know, um, post-turn analysis or whatever, or how things are going. Also, I think now I can start moving the mouse around and you'll be able to see it because right now I'm not actually looking at the stream yard. I'm just looking at the picture and um, I'm recording uh, via stream yard. And then supposedly I can download that and upload it to YouTube at some other point. It's only in 720p. They asked me for um, money. It's prohibitive for me at this time and space anyways. So this here is at the end of November, and we're just about to get into the German, uh, sorry, the Russian turn. So I think you guys can see here the black dotted line I'll go along, which is just absolutely wonderful. I can do this now. So this is the original border, and you can see I'm going to get on a full-on analysis because i got other things to do, and I'm sure you guys do too, but I'm just telling you before. And I'll say it probably time and time again. If you ever, anybody ever wanted to spend an afternoon chit-chatting about this, holy smokes. Um, so here's now the red line. So this is the current front, essentially. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Nope. I went on the wrong one. There we go. Good Lord. I have to remember that. Um, <laughs> When I move the mouse, it's going to go to other stuff. Holy smokes. Wow, this will be an interesting live stream. Or, sorry, recorded stream. So here you go. So this is the current front. Look how much territory the Germans have taken. What blows me away is, remember, what well, not just this, um, that uh, the Russians had, but the Russians were over here. I, on a side note, I'm, I didn't um, been reading the Dervel Krieg rules um, and that um, for demoralization as well as uh, resource points and so on and so forth later on, um, the Russians never, ever have to worry about coal deposits and that type of stuff ever. Um, so all these loss of coal fields here, uh, I was like, oh, my God. So it's interesting now I'm finding that I'm uh, connecting more of the grand campaign stuff and like uh, thinking about things long term wise and also more demoralization point wise. Because if you look at it right now and, and the way things have been going or certainly are going, the Germans and the Austro Hungarians are on the upswing. Let's be honest, it is a massive book. Okay. Nowhere near as bad as it is going to be in September 1915 historically. Like I was saying, here's Vilma. Supposedly they. Uh, the um, Russians were, heck, God, God, I'm just amazed that it was that much, like a, still so much more to learn, and that the Russians, uh, there's long-lasting impacts based on the way they handle things in, uh, um, you know, in the retreat. Right, anyways, let's get back to this. So here's the current uh, red line, and this is what the, uh, the central powers would love to see um by the end of november um primarily you can see in the austro-hungarian thing here i think is just to put it back to the original borders um uh, there's a massive push here and that's you know uh, i think uh, here's the nita that's uh that's the azanka um so maybe yeah yeah exactly back to the green here uh back towards the azanka and originally if you look at um I was looking looking at my original videos and the uh, what the central powers wanted to have done by the end of November, and here we are getting right close to it, is to basically be all the way around Warsaw. This was totally unexpected, totally, to have Wood so early, totally unexpected. Um, 
and be prepared for a, a, like a winter siege or whatever, and then go in for the kill in, in the spring. Um, and also to have no Russian troops whatsoever in East Prussia. Um, I'm still, to be honest with you, not completely convinced this is going to happen. There's a hell of a lot of strength points sitting here. Um, I'm not that clever when it comes to positional uh, use of strength points and so on and so forth. I'll be honest with you. I think if I was someone like Charles Latora or uh, Meandering Mike, uh, they have much more... I mean, they're like the amount of experience and, and whatnot and so on and so forth. Actually, I'd like to see what dad versus son could do with this type of stuff, sink his teeth into it. Um, uh, they have so much more experience. It's almost to the point of intuitive. Uh, on and on, on a side note, uh, when I was looking at, um, I was watching, um, excuse me, Mini Warmut uh, doing uh, uh, uh Del Rey, uh, can, uh, Marino Del Rey. And I've wanted to pick that up anyways. And it's a combination. That person's got a lot of freaking game, uh, game knowledge, obviously through miniatures. But I was thinking at the time, I'm like, I guarantee you, man, him playing those hex games are going to help him miniatures wise. Garen flipping teeth. It helps me flip back and forth, man. I'm just saying. Anyways, let's get back to this. So that's a fair amount of territory to take up. I think a, a quite a bit. This was wonderful to grab this this little tiny bit here. Um, uh, yes, this bit here. Um, yep, yep. Because yeah, they went in here. Uh, yeah. They, okay. Yep. Um, I don't know. I'm just saying it. Oh, from the German perspective, they're going to, I think, personally be asking Charles Tortoise and, and whatnot, the Garrison Corps commander, to be sending a lot more of his stung divisions. Uh, uh, the reserves are over here in uh, Braunberg. Yeah, that's right. Breslau's over here. And, um, yeah, I wanted the reserve. I moved him over to more of a central, you know what I mean? Like, zip him around. Um, Especially after my Andrew and Mike was telling me about that uh, double rail line is basically a, a limitless. As a, a, I mean, you still have to deal with rail capacity. I freaking love that, which means it must be connected to rolling stock or something like that. Wicked. Uh, oh, my God. I can't believe you use them. I'm using train talk. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so that's that. I, I it, It's just going to be more. But then you see what I mean? This is God. I flipping love this universe. Because now we're getting into the um, uh, down towards here in the Tri Town area front, and I thought it was going to be like a cakewalk, and there's a ton of supply points and so on and so forth, but it's not going to be so flippant. Maybe this can be easier than expected. Yeah, because I'm tr uh, trust me from the Russians' perspective, I have to take a look at what Danilov, like I was saying about with the the RP. Uh, here he is uh, with the RP. Uh, I, I want a bit more of an RPG personality stuff. Um, is the fact that. Um, I don't personally, from a point of view, like the way I'd play, it's like get, move, move, move. So I would be actually catering here and here uh, towards the Germans and the Austro Hungarians. In other words, I'd be retreating like hell. Uh, not here. You can F you. Uh, and I would stay here. Um, yeah. I'd be basically yeah, exactly what the Germans want. Fine. No problem. But uh, I don't know what Danny Love will do. So it'll be rather fascinating to see um i wish i played the russians better um there's a lot of stuff coming for them uh come january but obviously there's also a lot of stuff coming for the uh, the germans and the austro-hungarians however if you look at it on a, on a bigger strategic level which i'm just absolutely loving that's why it's connecting into this grand campaign i'm just everything's just becoming so freaking uh it's almost like you know sometimes i don't know if you ever Think about like you look at evolution or whatever and um uh, the snapshot of stuff it's like so complex and i'm like oh my god that's impossible that can't be happening and i'm like no 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 you're just looking at the snapshot chris if you, you look at the whole flow it's you know it, it's almost like staring at the at, at ingredients and then you know staring at like a, a cake or something and it's like oh my god how the hell did that happen it's like, whoa, 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 you know, there was a lot of little in-betweens. Um, uh, 
anyways, yeah, it's just, I'm just amazed how this is starting to get into such a bigger, and I just didn't realize how it happened. Like it, it's there already, uh, the Ottoman front, and that's going to be my next biggie. And I thought the Serbians were, you never know, right? It goes back and forth. Um, but this is all start, like I have to now start figuring out like um, how this is going to impact uh, with the Western Front. I think this is going to actually have a pretty big impact um, with the British. Because remember, the French, um, which remember, I'm just cluing in now. The French are like, excuse me, the big, big front is my freaking front yard, my backyard, my house. They are in my house, you know, um, not your house, mine. Um, and um, yeah, that's the way I have to start thinking about it, which is which means the British want to go off into, you know, like I said, off into Mesopotamia and start, uh, you know, going into there and uh, well, obviously uh, in Palestine and whatnot with Epiphany and uh, the double headed approach with the amphibious assault and so on and so forth. Oof, oof, oof. And then there's the non aggression pack with the rock. All these freaking things are connecting the dot. I'm just trick. Oh my God. I haven't even started getting into like moving troops around on, you know, via the strategic. Oh, Lord of mercy. Yep. I'm sorry, man. I'm, uh, like I said, a love fast times bazillion or whatever. And there's no, yeah, tough. So, anyways, um, that's that. I, uh, now we're going off in 204 November. Um, I'm excited because I have to find out how the Russians are going to react to this. Um, I'm really personally, um, <clears throat> Red and Camp, man, what can you do here? Be smart. Be smart. You got nobody, man. Nobody. I'm just going to say this after this bit, this Red and Camp and friends, they need a major rest. I don't know what's going to happen, but give them some freaking rest. Jesus H. Okay, we got Proto Pope off over here. Yeah, I can't wait to start getting into the course. I'm going to do the same amount of work that I did with all these guys. I spent, I wrote 52 pages in my freaking flight by flight. And I used shorthand this time. I figured out a quicker way of doing stuff. That's why I was like absolutely dumbfounded. I got through the turn so fast, but still 52 flipping pages for the. Such a power. I loved every second of it. I'll be honest with you. I just love it to bits. It's all part of the uh, whatever. I know sometimes I'm always like, I get um, like, oh, I want the end. I want this. And I'm like, no, you don't. You just, just go with it, man. Um, you're going to like, trust me at some point, it's going to be maybe 1918 and uh, it could be years from now, but um, there's so, I mean, God, you're so far away from freaking tanks. You haven't even figured out about talking about air superiority come January. And um, I was so excited when um, Charles Latore, I was like, uh, started giving suggestions. I was like, oh yeah, I want to talk about this and so on and so forth. And dad versus son going, oh, I like your ideas. Uh, just, uh, mm, mm, mm. yep. Anyways, like I said, it, it, I've said before, I'm sorry if I'm going off in a left best number version 3.8 or whatever. Um, <clears throat> you honestly think, I'd be probably still playing this game or at the, at this, at this level or at this, I don't know. What, what do you want to call it, man? Uh, it's just been ultra fantastic. Thanks. So thank you so, so flipping much. Um, and I've said it before. There's no, no way in hell I could possibly ever give back what I've been given. So um, thank you so much. Okay. That's it. I have to go hit the end of the recording. See ya.